What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ryan here and uh, we've got another car repair video. Um, I previously filmed me doing this job on this car specifically but unfortunately the part I replaced didn't fix the problem. So here we are. We're gonna do it again. This time however I learned a little bit about what was going on. I know better how to do this and I think I can do it in a little bit faster of a time frame and I think I can I think I can lay out what to do and where to do it a little better. So here we go. The second attempt for old Greg's door latch. Well, if you've ever had a Mark IV and you know anything about them, <clears throat> these door latches are really common for going out and it'll cause a bunch of different problems like the doors won't lock because it won't realize it's closed. The alarm won't arm, uh, it'll unlock. Funny enough, well, it would. This one would unlock. I don't know about other ones, but it causes a bunch of issues with the security and with auto lock features. So, we're gonna go ahead and put this new latch in here, and hopefully, everything's gonna go back. Now, to give a little bit of backstory to this problem, what we think is happening with old Greg is we think the door latch being bad is not letting old Greg know that the door is shut and that everything has been cut off, so he doesn't know to power down. Now. If you know where I'm going with this. Basically, old Greg keeps killing batteries and there's very little to go off of. We've tested a few things and basically the main thing that changes is when we disconnect the battery to reset everything, when we connect everything back up, there's a particular fuse that it's supposed to get power but it's supposed to get very low power and it, once you open and close the door, will draw a lot of power and we think because old Greg doesn't realize he's closed that ends up translating into him staying on all the ECMs PCMs body control modules all the different relays everything stays powered and just slowly drains the battery and after about two or three days you go out and try to start him and it doesn't work and this is largely why I was tired of trying to keep this car going before I sold old Greg to my buddy so we have a brand new latch and we're hoping that this time it's going to go well. So with enough of an intro on what's going on, this is what we're doing. Let's get into it. Yeah, old Greg. I absolutely love this car. I do miss owning him. I'm not going to lie. There's just a soft spot in my heart for a GTI with a Jetta front end. All right. So. I had to cover the license plate because it's not my car anymore, so for anonymity's sake, I'm not going to show the plates, but who really cares about that? What we're here for is the door latch, right? We're here to watch the door latch. Now, I'm going to warn you, my camera skills are terrible, and I don't care. <laughs> so if you're here, I will do my absolute best to make all of this work and make sense while also having absolutely horrible video filming skills. I may get interrupted with rain, so I'm going to I'm going to explain the basics of where you want to start. So, first things first, you want to open your door. Duh, right? Well, you'd never know. So, first things first, you want to pull this off. Now, you can kind of go from underneath There we go. That pops out. You lift it up and out. And then this can come out of the way. Of course, right here on the side is a little thing. It's already pressed. Pull that off. Now keep this handy because later on, once this whole door panel is off, we actually need this to roll the window down just a little bit to line up the window with some holes so that we can remove the glass to remove an interior panel behind that. So we'll, we'll get there, but start with this, take this out and then you'll see there's one, two, and then three of these screws right here. There's supposed to be three. Obviously there's not three here, but you want to pull all three of those out and that'll release this portion here. Now you look up here, if you want, to try and fight with digging this thing out. I think it pops out, but I usually leave it alone. I leave it all intact. If you leave all of this stuff in the door panel, it'll all come off together. 
So the next thing is, once these screws are removed, you want to look at the bottom of the door. Now I got to get down here with you. Let's get this flashlight on. That's not better, but it's better. So this right here, you can see that's a Torx. There's three of those. Obviously this one didn't have one because the clip that's supposed to be inside of the door is gone. And then there's that one there. So there's three screws here. And then there's three screws across the bottom of this. Once you have those six screws out, the door is only held in with a handful of clips that all pop out. They come straight out. Do not twist, do not turn, do not anything. Simply start peeling the door from the bottom up work your way up across the bottom and then up the side because the door the uh the the interior panel actually lips into the steel of the door so you start from the bottom go up which the door panel will come out towards you and then you go up and it'll let you clear now i'm going to go ahead and take all these screws out real fast and then i'll be right back to show you how to peel everything off okay so in between cuts like I said, I got those screws out, and you remember, it's three across the bottom, and then it's three across the top. I'm aware that I was missing one of each. We know. But like I said, at this point, you want to get your fingers worked under, and you see how it just comes loose? It may be harder than that on your car, may be easier, but I've had this thing apart so many different times that it's not too bad for coming apart. Okay. So I'm gonna set this back up. No, I'm not. We're gonna let this hang just a touch. Oh, bitch. Okay. So I'm gonna pick you up now and show you. This light, number one, you wanna unplug that. Number two, let me get back around y'all. Pick this up. Okay, so now you see the cable coming from the door. I'm gonna go right here, follow it. There's a little clip right here, this little section right there. You wanna lift this, get my light going. Boop. You wanna lift that and push that back. That'll release and then you wiggle the cable up and out and then that releases that. Of course, there's the plug for the mirrors that I mentioned earlier, that's already and you want to take these, and then this last one unhooks from the door. This is for that little alarm light. Yeah, press the little doohickey. Bam. All right, now we have a door panel off of a car. So, ignore my crappy music choices as we walk through the barn. I'm going to put this in here just in case it rains. I did check the weather in between cuts. It does look like it might rain if I didn't already mention that. All right. So now we have exposed the door card. All right. So first things first, these two big plugs, pop them out. Both of them. Well, I say that and then I can't get it. There we go. Basically, these are access points. This is where you roll the window down and you disconnect the glass from the window regulator. The window regulator is actually connected, bolted firmly to all of this. So there's not really much of anything you can do to get in there other than removing this glass. Because once this comes loose, it won't actually come away from the car until you remove the glass. So that's where you take the handle that you kept handy earlier and you plug in and then you turn the key on of course i've got the battery disconnected so it's going to take a second i gotta reconnect the battery but you plug it back in so that you can line up those bolts with the glass and all that so that you can take them loose and then blah blah so i'll be right back and with the power of the key Look at that. So this is what you want. You want to see those. And I brought some nut drivers so that I didn't have to beat on this with an impact. There. 
Nope. Is it this one? It is that one. All right. Well, I also brought a ratchet. <coughs> so for me, these are T27s, which tells me that they're not T27s. They're T30s. Yep, they're T30s. T27's not a very common size on a Volkswagen, but I got my here handy dandy snap on right, right. I'm Gonna loosen that. Don't take it all the way out, just loosen it. You wanna make sure that it's pretty loose, just like so, right? <coughs> and then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna set you here on my four wheeler, and then hopefully this goes smooth. Basically, hey, 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 all right, so we have a glass. Uh, as far as storage, I'm gonna put this in the back seat. And that's mostly because there's no reason for me to go into the back seat until I need that glass again. So, now that that's done. What can we do? So, first thing, push these little rubber boots into the steel. Do not pull them out, push them in. Make sure you work them as far in as you can get. They will snag. The next thing you're gonna wanna do once that's done, is you're gonna wanna go ahead and start pulling all of these out. Gentle application can typically keep from breaking these, although I did just break that one. Broke that one, broke that one. But you wanna unplug all of these different connectors. All of this stuff has gotta come loose and come away from the door. So, get it all loose so that when you take it from the door, it doesn't have to go with the door. Now the only thing left that has not been disconnected is the plug that's right here, which we're going to go ahead and push that clip in now so that we don't have to try and fight it loose later. I fought it in the last video and this one's kind of dumb, so we're just going to go ahead and pop that in there just like that. So now all it should be is all of these 10 millimeters and then that should let the door come, the, this panel here come away. So let me go get my tin. Forgive the noise on this one. I'm gonna use my Milwaukee just so that I can buzz them out quick. Try and make this go a little quicker than, a, than it did last time. There should be 11 of these. Make sure to police all of your hardware. I don't want you to blame me for you losing shit. So, from the bottom, you know, peel it out. Now, you gotta remember, there's goo on the door if you're doing this for the first time. So you're gonna wanna be as careful as you can and you're gonna wanna go around with a razor or something to go ahead and, and, and cut that loose. Now, like I said, I've done this before, last time. Ah, there we go. I can get that down and then I can get these up. Bam. And then I can reach in here. I and mean, it's got a pain, a pain in the ass clip to get it off. There we go. That sounded solid. There we go. All right. Now push the harness through. Pull your little door latch cable through. And look at that. 
Now we're gonna go put this in the barn so that if it rains, all I gotta do is cover an opening. All right, problem solved, situated, sorted, and organized. What do we do next? Well, number one, we ignore how filthy the inside of the door is. Number, number two though, for the next order of business, we're actually gonna look inside of this hole and there should be a Torx. And I believe one of these, I'll tell you which one it is, if it's one of these in just a second. All right, so the T15 fit, but just for good measure, we're gonna try the 20. All right, so the 20 fits. So there's a screw in here. You wanna basically loosen it until you don't want to get it all the way out either but basically you want to you want to get the door lock the actual locking cylinder out Also a little tab in here that you're gonna have to get off and it can be a pain but basically you just got to kind of fumble through it and feel it out there's a point where it won't let you there you go once you get it you can pull the lock out once you have this in your hand it's actually pretty easy to get the door handle itself out we're gonna sit this in the seat so that I don't lose it but that was a T20 Torx to get that loose. Now, like I said, you don't remove that all of the way. You leave it, but you basically pinch on to the door lock as best you can and kind of pull on it. And as you're unscrewing it, eventually it'll clear and it'll come out in your hand. At which point, I'll bring you in close for this. At which point, if you look inside of here, you can't really see that much, but there's a... A bit of a cable we're gonna flick this loose right there and then pull the handle out now we have the handle in our hands so the beauty of this is that now once we remove these two screws here the door latch will be loose and it'll come to our hands it's actually pretty pretty straightforward it's just intimidating because there's so many small pieces of it so we're gonna come in here we are gonna grab my triple squares it probably won't have triple squares when you go to do this yourself it'll probably have some kind of torques in it however I used triple squares when I put it all back together so that's what it has My little thingy came popped up. All right. Bam! Look at that. Fell off right in. Now we have a latch in our hands. Okay, so let's go in here. I'm going to sit this here. I'm going to sit you guys down. We're going to look. turn that way down man that heater is kicking in here okay move this here sorry I'm not the preferred okay so we're gonna turn this into the same orientation we're gonna see some similarities as we should so we're gonna take this we're gonna turn it we're gonna lift it Might take a little bit of budging, just like that. Then we're gonna take this one, and lop it in, and then turn it up. And then it goes into its position and stays under that lock. So then we're gonna come over here to this one, right here. We're gonna pull that out. Now that's a little bit of a fight. Uh. 
Uh, come on, booger. There we go. All right. And you want to snake this little guy out. Come on, booger. There we go. You just got to line it up right and it'll come right out. So now we're going to come straight over here to this one. And we're going to put that right back in there. Boop. Turn. And then we come back. And then it just pushes right in there. <sighs> Snaps right in. Just like that. That right there. That's what you're looking for. You want that engaged. You want that there. Bam. So now we come over here to the back side. And we see this piece. So we're going to go ahead and pull this open. And we're going to hold it so that we can have the room. But basically, you can turn this up, slide it out. Now we're done with this one. And just to make sure, you open it, put it in there, turn it down, let it go. Now we are preloaded on our deal, on our latch. This is ready to go back in the car. It's a beautiful sight, let me tell you. So basically, this part's just reverse assembly. Uh, this last cut has largely been no cut. Um, the one time I've cut it, I only wasted about five minutes in between cuts. So... The, vi the overall video should actually be the length of how long this job took. Like, even though I took longer to talk to you at the beginning, the overall video should be about the length of how, how long all this took. But basically, now that your latch is assembled, you just want to come back in here. You want to get your bolts ready. You want to get everything so that it sits where it's supposed to sit. Get your bolts started. That's the first thing. As far as alignment, there's a tiny bit of alignment. Um, I don't really know what to tell you. Other than I like to pull, or rather, I like to push the latch towards that direction so that there's as much of a gap in between the latch and the door as what's possible. And basically what that does is it just kind of pulls the door a little tighter at the end of the day. But it doesn't have to be perfect. And you don't want to go crazy on the duck a duck is there. I, I, I've got this gun. It's only doing a certain amount of torque. It's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Not that bad. We're going to put this light back together so that we don't forget. Come on, stupid light. What are you doing to me? Not cooperating. That is the word. You are not cooperating. There we go. Oh, see, if I'd have had it facing the right direction, it would have popped right together. Anyway, that's the last of the triple square. So I'm going to put this here, 10, back in close the triple squares up so that I don't have to worry about losing nothing. Okay, so what did we do next? Door handle. Why door handle? Well, door handle because right now while everything's open, you can fight it. Obviously, you don't want to have to fight it. Nothing wants to be a, you don't want anything to be a fight. But there's always going to be some fight no matter what you do. But basically, this thing should just slide right together. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks great. Pop that, that wire cable back in. have to try this a couple of different times again here's the beauty of my videos I do things in real time I'm not 
I don't have some perfect setup to make this or that work. I just have what we're looking at, what you see me messing with, what, what tools you see me using. You know, I don't have a shop or a dealership to fall back on. I don't have any of that stuff. This is just me. So if I can do it, you can do it. Now I'll admit, I understand the whole idea of I've been doing it longer. There's no way I could be as good as you. No, you might not do this job as fast as me, but there's no reason why you can't do it as good as me. As long as you pay attention to what you're doing, it's really not that difficult. Like, this is all just nuts and bolts. It's a, it's a giant three-dimensional puzzle. So if you've ever been any good at a jigsaw puzzle, that's really what you're doing here. You're just using your powers of problem solving to look at certain things and put them back the way they came apart. And then you just tighten this one screw here on the right back up till it's nice and snug. Don't over tighten any of these. They're into aluminum. It's very easy to shred some of this stuff. But that door, you hear that snap? That's what you want. You want tension on the handle so that the handle sits flush on the outside of the car. You would have adjusted that little wire wrong, which isn't hard to do. I mean, it's not hard to do right. Not hard. Obviously, it's it's not hard to mess anything up. Anybody can mess anything up, but that's not my point. Now we need the metal shell. So, first things first, got to be careful. We need to use the harness. We need to come around the front of it. We need to poke this in here. Don't forget that. And then you're going to come up and you're going to get ready. But you're going to put your cable through here, just like this. Now, don't forget this boot right here. You're going to want to resituate all that. But first things first. You want to make sure you go ahead and out the gate, plug this back in. Now understand, once you plug this back in, there's very little room for error. Like, you can't go tugging on this thing. There's not very much left in adjustments and stuff. Like, once this is plugged in, you, you're kind of committed. So make sure everything's lined up. Make sure all your stuff on the handle and latch are plugged in. All right, now let's feed it some slack. We're gonna come up, we're gonna come down, under, go under, and then bam. When you know you're lined back up, the whole plate will lock back in. Now make sure now that none of your wires have gotten pinched anywhere, because it will happen and it's a pain in the ass. Start you some screws. One good one, all the way seated, should be enough to hold it. Just for you to be able to take a second and you know go through the rest of this. But get your screws all in. Oh, you know what I am almost forgetting? I'm almost forgetting my little doodad. So here's one of them moments where I told you to do something and then I didn't do it myself. Awesome, isn't it? Sounds just like, just like my dad. All right, so we're gonna pull our hand back out of here. Take that screw back out. So let me come out far enough. All right, now that we've got this thing, I'm gonna pull it through. Yep, 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 yep. Go ahead and get this all seated just like that. Same thing here. Okay. Dang, what'd you do to my ring? You put all kinds of schmoo all over it. That's fine. So, yep, pull this one up. I don't really know what it matters, but you know, Volkswagen put it in there, so we're gonna put it back. Yay, now it's up there. All right. Carefully. I don't think you can do that. Okay. 
can, get these clips back in. If you can't, it's not that big a deal. Just make sure everything stays relatively where it needs to be. Get all your screws back in. Remember, there's 11 of these. If you don't have 11 to tighten back down, when you're tightening them back down, you're missing some. In this particular instance, probably won't be a big deal because there's so many, but you know, if you're gonna do it, do it right. I like to do it right. Like I said, once all this is said and done, it's really not that hard of a job. You just got to take the time to pay attention to what you're doing. Because I couldn't reuse this plug right here to re-secure that, I'm going to hold this bushing and I'm going to try and pull the slack through so that I can, un I can not have to worry. Oh, what did they do? I see what they did. They taped a piece of it down. Look at them. That's all right. We're going to pull that out. Up yours, guys. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we go back and we pull some of the slack out. Basically, where we can't secure it, we just want to make sure, oh, I broke my nail. Dang, that was a good break right there. That was not any better, whatever. We did what we could. It was a valiant attempt. But basically now, go back through, plug all your stuff back in. Hey, you're starting to see it now, eh? I don't remember having a door, jing a door jingle when the door was open before. So I like that, that's a good sign. Well, I guess at this point, we need to put the glass back in. And if you've done well up to this point, you've not gone into the back seat for anything. So your glass is still intact. You can pull it out. Come right on back over. And very gently, nose first, grab the back, hold it. Bam, get both hands on one side and it should fall right into position. All right, make sure that you put more of your bias to the rear, but you don't want to go too far one way. Uh, now we're just going to tighten these back down and that's just going to lock the window back in the way it needs to so that it'll go up and down correctly. Do not over tighten those. If you tighten them down too much, you will shatter the glass. But now you see it's locked in. It's not going nowhere. It does have up and down play, but that's the play that's inside of the regulator. That's not the play in the glass. Okay, plug your plugs back up. Let's go get this door panel. Don't forget your light. That probably broke on you like it broke on me. Alright, so 
now that we've got the door panel back. While this door panel is off, it is a good time to address any of the stuff that's inside of here if you want to fix it. I, unfortunately, with the way that this is broken, cannot immediately do anything about it, so we're not gonna. However, it doesn't mean you can't. So, go ahead and unplug your switches. Go ahead and pop this back in, just like so. You're going to want to lift this up. And now that it's up, if you remember me showing you how to take the door handle cable off, it's the reverse process. You loop it back in, lay it over, get the cable in the groove, and then lock that little piece on by snapping it in. Don't forget to hook up the mirrors. Don't forget to hook up your two switches down at the bottom for the hatch and the gas. Plug your light back in. Don't forget your little security light. Security. All right, now that all of your electronics are hooked back up, except for the plug for your windows, go ahead and bring the plug for the windows out. Next thing, get your, get your lock over here lined up and started. And then basically up and over, up and over, and try to catch that lip. Just like that. Pay attention, because the lock will, will try everything it can to not go in and become a real pain in the ass to get it to line up. Bam, just like that. All right, give it a couple little bangs. You'll know you're in the right spot because when you line everything up, it lines up. Go ahead and go around the car. Bang all your clips back in. Let's start putting some of these screws in. Now, if you remember, I only had two of each, so it's not gonna be great, but it's gonna be better than nothing. All right. Up. And this is pretty much it. Like once you get the rest of this back together, yeah. Don't forget your window. You need that to work. So make sure that this stays up and out in the open so that you know what it's gonna do and where it's gonna go. But get these screws back in, lock this back down. And then you can put the bottom ones in last this back in and if you've left the car on put it back all right so sit this back down in here just like that grab your little plastic piece stick it back down from the top get it nice and lined back up you don't want to break this it's a pain in the ass if you break it because they don't make them anymore Got to get it kind of just right. Of course. There we go. All right. Now, the last two on the bottom, and I do believe that was this one, the T25, which these are here in the floorboard. Uh. Nope, that's the wrong side. It's this one.
Well, you get the general idea of what's happening. Well, that's pretty much it. Now that you've got this all together, what you can do is test. Take your key out. Close the door. Close the hood. Which takes a slam. Bam. So let's see. Hey! The security alarm armed. came on so I'm gonna take that as a win this is basically the video though that's how to do a latch um, if you have any questions or comments definitely let me know what you what you got down in the comment section below uh, if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that uh, fat chance of it but if this year we manage to get enough subscribers I could possibly try to get some ad revenue and then that would expand new cars new tools new jobs new you know basically just build on everything that i really like to do as is so you know if you enjoyed it let me know if you didn't enjoy it let me know I, i'm open to criticism as well i'd like to know how boring i was i'd like to know how crappy my camera action is but on that bombshell i hope everybody has a great day and i'll see you next time